Ooh, hello guys, we are here today to herd sociopaths. So, let's see if we can actually herd many, few, or no sociopaths today. Let's check, let's disable. Yay, let's go. Let's see how it goes. Okay, let's see how it goes. Let's see if the social paths are in a are lying in wait. Lord Ve it, it Lord Vega. <laughs> nice. Alright. Let's check. Balance. Should be two hundred. Okay. Again, we'll see how much cash we can make tonight. Let's start very casual, very quietly. Very, very quietly as always. Because we soon we will soon see if we have sociopaths around. Nobody here training. Wow, that's strange. Okay, Trinzik is a nice city. So let's start. Let's start on our mission to get the castle in. I don't have any sound here with me, wait a sec. Yeah, there, okay. <clears throat> and hello, Hearst Medicine. Let's go. Don't we have NPCs here to be gated? Yeah, probably I should have taken the gate to Trinzic. More NPCs at Trinzic, in fact. Let's just take a look around. Lois, in my my guild, you mean you mean BJV? Because BJV do not recruit men. There is no way BJV is recruiting. This guy wants to go to a dungeon. I really should take his dungeon room with me. Yeah. Maybe this guy. Okay, this guy wants to go to Skyrim. Skyrim is fine. Oh man, BJV is not recruiting. <laughs> why, why would you want to put a guy in BJV? You're just a PK guild. Remember you being a PK or as medicine? I really do not recall you being a PK. Okay, let's go buy some Rex now. Gay travel Rex, for instance. No, I will take the M. <laughs> Maybe Vendor is better. 
Yeah, of course, no regs. Reg vendor are permanently drained. Permanently. It's amazing how they are permanently drained. Okay. Let's see, who do we have here? Sheffield? Just Sheffield. Sheffield and Barry. What was normally here? And the ship here. So relaxing. Yeah, I was trying to use last target here. Earth Menacid, I have one silver coin to sell in case you're online and you wish to buy for 10k as always. There should be another ship here, where is it? Here, outside the pen, the ship pen. Come on. Um, Yeah, start ship bands as, as soon as possible. Okay. That's Barry. Okay. No worries. There should be buyers about. Shouldn't be hard to sell silver. There you go. And I already forgot the name of the other. But I bet I will find him. So where are you waiting to be escorted? Where are you? Not that guy. Maybe this guy. No, this guy definitely. Yeah, Jalon, let's go. Off you go. Let's take a look at Jalon. I almost never be at Jalon doing this stuff. Um, for some reason, it's always the other one. Yeah. Heal time being dead. Yeah, doesn't look like there's many here. This is a good spot at the graveyard to train here. This style, you can aggro, you can aggro them one by one and they come here and you train wrestling here. Or weapon skill. It's a very nice place because you're almost basically in guards and so it's kind of safe. Yeah, actually, there's not many NPCs here. <coughs> Nobles with the sword. Maybe here at the docks, no worry. Easy. Scott, okay. So far, so good. Unfortunately, mage regains are, for some reason, are almost impossible to obtain. Um, I, I, I am lucky if I gain two tens in mage re in each stream. Yeah, it's getting harder and harder. In fact, unlike, unless you macro it, it's a bit difficult. Unless you macro it, it's a bit difficult to raise skill past 90s. 
Yeah. And, and even 90 depends on the skill, depends on the skill. Okay, here we don't have enough NPCs to be honest. To even... Um, to even be profitable. Sure, we gotta wait for mana, but... You wandering healer. Wander the sky. Mom. Oh, oh, Bindi. Oh, here is. Scarrow, yes, come to the gate. Come through the gate. Yep. Good. Two. Two emphasis with one gate. That's fine. Okay, so how much is here? 1.5k already. That's not bad at all. Not bad at all. Bluntman. Seen this guy farming lately. That's it. Oh, he is uh, on the roof. Yeah, on the bank roof. Okay. All good. Let's take a look here. This looks like, yeah, you. Nice. Nice reliability with this gate. Briggs, hello man. Uh, because it's faster if I fail, I think. Yeah, I, I, I was used to doing this um, at the very beginning when I was failing like even 20 times. So it was a lot faster to just click the rune, uh, the gate travel. And I'm still doing that, even if gate travel is a bit more reliable. Yeah. Oh, somebody's placed a small here, interesting. These small, these small houses around um, Verity Island have uh, been here like since forever, I think. I have always seen them here. Yeah, Headless. I remember Headless being scary in Ultima Underworld. Well, here they are not scary. So I've seen you recently Joining Discord, Bricks. Never to regret. Gotta be on Discord to Discord PvP and do all the silly stuff. Interesting place here. All these small, I think, belong to Hydroxide. I don't know if he is following the stream. It's a veteran player that recently rejoined, owner of Bank and Buy here. This, this is Bank and Buy. Wise guys, Bank and Buy, yeah, of course, wise guys. Sure, guys, not so wise.
Yeah, that's good. I'm always busy the weekends. Weekends I am Burma Burma AFK. Yeah, weekends are terrible. Terrible for gaming. You gotta do you have a lot of other stuff to do. Fortunately. If you hear noises from the room, it's because I'm, I'm in the kitchen today. So you can hear the, the clock ticking. Do you hear the clock ticking? There's a guy saying that he can hear the clock ticking. I cannot hear the clock ticking. Still Apple, hello. Hello. Can you hear the clock ticking? Yeah, you can. Oh my goodness. Is it annoying? Because it's so much in my in my head that I don't even pay attention no more. I have is a Tonor mic. It's called Tonor, but I, I I don't know the model. I cannot remember the model. But it's a good mic. Maybe. Damn, I shouldn't have told. I shouldn't have mentioned it. <laughs> but it's also far away from, from the microphone. I, I, I don't know how it can pick it up. There's so many sheep here around you. Really many sheep around here. Don't run. It's a really painful to double click every time. So at least don't run away. Okay. Written. Yeah, you're lucky, man. <laughs> you're lucky, man. I don't have one. And wait until summer. Summer will be painful. Because on holiday, I will have a completely different setup. And by different, I mean worse. And worse than this, yeah, it's no good. It's no good. Rufus, let's go sell stuff here. <coughs> This is good money. This is still good money. I mean, 37, 50. Yeah, that's almost 2k there. Almost 2k here in Pile of Wool.
So I I don't mind. This is uh, really something uh, new players can do if they are not comfortable going around dungeons, for instance. If you do it with macros and with self agent, I mean, it takes like no time to do this, and it's easy, easy K. I don't know the next challenge, man. <clears throat> I, I am attracted. I am attracted doing a no no spells run. Like no spells, which is even worse than no magery. Because even with zero magery, you can cast a lot of spells in this game. Where am I going now? Even at zero major, you can cast a lot of spells in this game. But no spells. That's interesting. Like a no magical, let's say a totally no magical character. For instance, um, no spell book. No scroll, no wands. I mean, interesting. You just go around with uh, with bandages, with potions. That'd be interesting. Of course, it doesn't have to be dark nights in that case, because otherwise, with dark nights, you you can see nothing. Unless you have at least sixty major, you cannot see nothing. Even if you use night side potions or night side jewelry. This is something we learned with Sally in the very first uh, streams. Where I every time I had to ask somebody. Every time I had to ask somebody to win Lormin. Because with majorly below 60, uh, nothing would work. Even I if I in lore my if I had in lore myself, it wouldn't have worked. Uh, too bad. But yeah, Dexter, probably Dexter. And it won't be... I don't think I will do it to Castle did. Probably to Tower did. Tower did sound more reasonable. Why oh, stop lagging already? Allow once for item ID. Yeah, there's the item ID skill though. So one could use that. Yeah, let's start a character with 50 item ID. <laughs> you believe that? Okay, here we have uh, the cotton field. It's not as good as the as the other ones around Mungo, but it can still do. And I love these trees. Boomlang Jenkins, for fuck's sake, you promised. I know what you're watching. Maybe you're not watching now, but you are watching. Um, what are these sheep doing here? Boomlang Jenkins, you told me that when you placed the, the apple tree at BJV Town, you would have put up an apple spawner, but I don't see no apple spawning there. So what's wrong? You gotta fix that. Here, here you see the the spawn. Here you see there's a peach that I can take and I can double click it to eat it. So I see no spawn here at BJV Town. Here also there's a pair, two pairs, a pair of pair, pair of pairs. Okay. So you gotta fix that. I don't know too limiting. Yeah, you know, I I have a fear it would be very limited, limiting, not going around with recall. That probably is very, very super limiting. I 
But apart from that, I, I don't know. Boy, I haven't found so many NPCs late in in this place since now. But yeah, I I am never a fan of no of no Majory. I mean, I think I have Majory on every single character, and sometimes. Sometimes I try to go with no Majory on some character, but I end up never using them because I, I cannot live without Majory. And without Majory and Meditation, because I also have, a, I believe I still have a character that has Majory but doesn't have Meditation because it is a sort of Dexter or like, even if, even if I have 55 Intelligence. Um, but, but no Majory for some reason. Eh, sorry, no Meditation. And I never fucking use it because I need my mana. I need my I need my spells. I need my mana. I cannot I cannot imagine to live this game without major and without mana. To do everything, I mean, okay, recall is one thing. Also, recall recall frenzy around is another thing. You can just recall frenzy around, or for instance, you can gauge trouble. You can energy vortex. You can dispel gate. You can. This spell field, uh, you can cast demons, cast earthquake, you know, all the things. And I, I, I really cannot live without Majoring. There's so many things that you can do with Majoring. Yeah, this game really revolves around Majoring, in my opinion. So there's people, I. There was these, there are these people, for instance, even PKs that used to be here. Uh, and what they do is, uh, for instance, they scout with their scout, and then they have a Dexter PK that can sometimes be optimal, but every time they have to to gate to gate the Dexter in with another with another character. Otherwise, uh, there's no mobility. I would go crazy like that. I would really go crazy. Oh, and, and, and they go around with like full armor rating, 25, <coughs> 25 intelligence. So one recall, you're you're already half mana basically, and it takes like shit ton of time to shit ton of time to to regen it. Yeah, not my style. That's why I, when I PK, I use very, 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 and I mean very suboptimal character when it comes to, to fighting, but they are optimal when it comes to, to scouting and, and, and murdering, let's say, PK, because PK is very different from, from PvP. It's actually, yeah, it's PvP because it's player versus player, but it's absolutely another, another thing. So I have sort of Dexter-like type PKs, but with the uh, major capabilities of mages. Yeah, that's very, very, very handy. Yeah, I'm running out of breaks here. Boy. <laughs> Yeah. Talking about being a bit confused. And I and I cannot PK without tracking. It's so so important to know exactly where your victim is and who your victim is because you adapt. You adapt. If you know you're picking a lock picker or you're picking a bard or you're picking a tongue mage, well, you, you, you adapt. And you do. You behave differently. Come on. No more, no more buying and selling here. What's going on? Yeah, they've gone crazy, fuckers. 
change city. No, wait. Mm, let me buy more ranks here to gain travel. If I. No. Yeah, of course, there's no ranks here. But these bots are so annoying. You never find regs, honestly. And if you are an honest reg buyer, you're always in trouble here. <coughs> here there should be many. Woody here, Woody Allen here. Yeah, let's go to Akla. Oops. Now we should have enough, enough fuel. We have enough fuel now to go. Okay. And I still haven't gained a single point in Majory or in Meditation or in nothing else. Or in sheep shearing, or in cotton picking. But there's no special plan. Yes, always complain. The plan is always complaining to have no gains. So in order to have a gain, the special plan for tonight is just chill around, have a relaxing and uh, normal stream. That is already an achievement. That would be an achievement. Because, yeah, I'm, I'm a bit bored of hurting such a pass. So, a quiet stream. A very quiet stream. That is what I, what I have planned for tonight. Roscoe. Roscoe, that's Hamilton's dog. Around this place there should be there should be people. Yep. Also this guy. No. This guy, this guy. Okay. You and Minoc. Yeah, I've fallen fallen too much in mana now. Too, too much in mana now that I cannot meditate back. Okay. Good, 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 GG, good game. There should be more around here, outside, outside the city walls. I remember during the Tainted Brew quest, this city being under siege. It was a very nice siege, very interesting. There's Hamilton, talking of Hamilton. I'm a little tense, really? No. How do you tell? Chase throw? Jethro Tal, Jethro Tal, nice pun. Come on, let me meditate again. Let me meditate, come on. Yeah, it's too low mana to meditate. I should just pause for a bit, probably. Let's check if there's more NPC in this guy, maybe. Yeah, I'm 150... 150k away from the castle. We should convert it to... to NPCs to gate. 750 NPCs to gate, can it be? <laughs> yeah, it takes quite some time. <laughs> Okay, 43 med. It's good. At least one point. 
Yeah. Where is this guy going? I forgot already. Jellum. Yep. Yeah. Never can focus. Yeah, this is the night I'm finding so many NPCs that I run out of mana. I'm running out of mana before I can actually gate them. I cannot gate them all because of low mana. This is this is incredible. Yeah, I really should take take a pause here. Here I remember also the invade the, the, the this graveyard during the invasion of the town of the Tainted Blue quest. That was a very, very good quest, to be honest. This was a really a, a very good part of the quest, the invasion of New Young. There's still the video. There's the, there's the whole... Uh, how's that called? Um, and there's a list of video. Playlist. There's a whole playlist with the Tainted Blue quest. So that's really interesting. And don't forget that coming up soon on the mid, in the middle of April, there's a new quest. There's a new quest starting, and Boom and Jenkins just told us that we will need a lot, a lot of cure potions. <laughs> That's what he anticipated us. So maybe it involves poisoning, poisoning stuff. Yeah. It would definitely uh, involve poisoning mob. So yeah, we will see. That's so big, New Young. And there's also rumors of a new Shadow Lord invasion. Probably a new Shadow Lord invasion in the, early, in the first days of April. So you gotta stay tuned, there's a lot of things going on Second Age. Really a lot of things going on Second Age. Cove was that Okay. Gauge travel frenzy. Gauge travel frenzy. Eighty nine major. That's two tenth in major gains tonight. Yeah, I love it. Well, I can't believe I can't believe this was done manually from zero. Well, not zero, but those like 25, 30-ish, 30 30-ish 30 point you buy from, from the NPCs. Because I started Sally with zero majoring. That was actually one of the things that you guys decided. Start with zero majoring. We started with 50 taming and 50 healing. Yeah. Poor choice. <laughs> Nonetheless, okay. 89.1, yes. GM Majory on Sally, can you believe that? No, I cannot believe that, I don't believe that. It's not gonna happen. Sure, let's go. No, I'm actually a very, a very fine city. You wanna take a look at this? It's a very good looking trees. Are they cold? They're not cold. Wow. If I click them, they don't take they don't tell they don't tell nothing. Why? Strange. That's strange. Can there be somebody here? Looks like a very quiet place. Hmm. 
finally a keeper here. Doing what here? Checking for the monk. Uh, checking for the... Um, what's that called? Yeah. There's a rare spawn in here, like... Mm, a mug or something spawning here. Ah, uh, if you... Sometimes when you when you cannot move to a direction is because your your client desynced. What you do is either is either you reopen if you have a macro to open the paper doll, you reopen the paper doll with the macro. Or if you don't, you just there, there should be an option in Razor to resync, force resync, 89.2 and another gain. There's another, there's another option in uh, in Razor to force resync, resync, resync client, something like that. That's something you can do. Yeah, sometimes you desync. Sometimes when you rubber band, for instance, if you rubber band, you can desync sometimes. Okay, here's the tailor. Okay, we can sell things also here. Here's the bun. I don't know, I, I'm playing the original client, client. I don't know if it happens also on Classic Hero. 7k already done. We already done 7k tonight just by gating and shearing. Boy. That's cute. Yeah. This is a guy with the blue book. Susan. Ah, yeah, I know this guy. This is a wreck bot. This guy is a wreck bot. Recall frenzy all around, all around. Yeah, for some reason he failed at restocking wrecks and now he is stuck here. Yeah, good. They'll teach him. They'll teach him not to stop, of course, because these guys will never stop. They'll teach him to make a better macros, I guess. A better macro, I guess. Yeah, sometimes it... Sometimes it happens to me when I duel. If you, if you take a look at my dueling um, videos, then featuring me, <laughs> well, you see me desync a lot of times, because I you rubber band a lot during duels, because you're constantly casting, keeping, casting, keeping. <laughs> you rubber band a lot. And, and sometimes I desync. And sometimes when you desync and you cannot run a random. I don't know why you cannot run a random direction, but it's, it's very annoying when it happens. I agree with you. That's why I, I have a macro to to just open the paper though. So I, I resync basically. I force uh, I force the resync. Where am I going? Who do you see recalling in and out of Mag Bank? These are the wreck bot you mean. That's just recall frenzy. They restock Rex. They restock Rex, they restock money. They recall to the the vendor. They vendor buy, vendor buy, vendor buy a few times. They recall back to the bank. They drop regs. They organize agent regs back inside the bank. They restock gold and off to the next room. That's what they do. And they do all the rooms, all the shops. And for some reason, 
for some reason, I have my opinion, and my opinion is that this shouldn't be allowed, but this is allowed because it is not considered an a, an allowed AFK, I mean, uh, it's not considered to be a resource gathering. I fail to understand it, but... That's not scripts, I mean, I hope it's not scripts, it's just done with a macro. You can do it with the Razor macro. Razor macro, you can do very complicated Razor macros. No need to script. I tell you what GMs tell me. When I ask them, isn't this AFK resource gathering? And they, and they tell me, no, it's not. Because you, you consume gold to gather it. And I reply to them, yes, but you then sell them players. I mean, you buy for three, you sell to four, or you buy to four, you sell to five. Uh, yeah. But they told me that to, to gather regs, you need to burn money. So that's why it's not AFK resource gathering. I don't agree with that reply. But it's, it's been like this since forever. What is this ink? A transparent ink. Interesting. Yeah, the, the macro to do this is actually quite simple. So there's absolutely no need, absolutely no need to, you, to, to have a script for that. Scripting is not legal here, but unfortunately it's also hard to catch scripters. I mean, how can you tell a script from from a macro. I mean, uh, unless you're doing something that a macro cannot do, you cannot tell a macro from a script. And even if you can tell, um, there's basically nothing you can do because you cannot prove it. Yeah, I don't particularly agree with this. I mean, sure you burn, sure you burn money, but yeah, it prevents other players from buying regs like legit, legitimately. Because when these regs bought, when these reg bots are in place, I mean, it's very hard for, for regular players to, to to buy regs because they really dry all the shops. They really try all the shots very efficiently, timing it perfectly, timing it perfectly with the respawn of the 50 minutes. No, I don't run a reg buyer. I haven't bought a single reg since I'm BJV. Um, I'm still selling what uh, what we inherited from Hydox. Uh, I still have like 300k each regs, so it's gonna take a while to burn them. Somebody is provoking here. Let's take a look at who it is. Also here, yeah, I can never enter this. Okay, here. Well, this guy provoking something not naked. Hmm, interesting. Here, the. How's that called? The bridles spawn. The bride, not the bridles. The, how's they called in English? The brides. Brides, probably. Here they spawn. More meditation. Boy, I remember when it was me, Morph and New Hate, we dragged this fucking one. There's only one stable master here, two stable master. These two stable master, New Hate, me and Morph dragged this guy, making um, a path with boxes, wooden boxes, all the way here, and then all here. 
and then we went here to the docks and here there. where did we go here I believe yeah here we dragged it all here to make it go on board the ship and sail it away kidnapping the stable master such a funny story I believe it was a couple of years ago it was this guy named um, Stanko there was new hate who had like 100 white worms at Skaran so Stanko decided to have this brilliant idea, in my opinion, very very good idea. Oh no, Munglo, not Skara. Had this very good idea, saying let's kidnap the stable master. Um, and by kidnapping the stable master, I mean you may you use wooden boxes, you make, you put them down, you basically. You, you, you leave one single path to this uh, stable master and keep spamming, spamming name a move, name a move until the stable master moves, and you, you, you block it from from returning back to to the original to the original place, and eventually you are able to take it to the ship. And once it's on board the ship, you, well, you can take it anywhere. And it was taken, I believe, it was taken. Uh, what was the it was taken almost to Cranky Town. It was it was taken almost to Cranky Town, and 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 then you wait told me. I mean, where's the stable master gone? And and I told me, what do you mean? Where's the stable master gone? Yeah, where's the stable master gone? He told me. I said, ah, I don't know. You tell me where the stable master is gone. So it's vanished, and I had 100 white worms. Um, what do you mean vanished? It's not there anymore. So I went to check, and the stable master wasn't there anymore. And I probably I had some other some other pets down there. I don't know. But long story short, um, uh, we PM not not PM. We 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 told in general chat, hey, that the stable master with Scar is missing. And at, at the time, there was GM Nomad. Uh, basically crypto um, and it all oh, the stable master is not there she's just not there so what do you mean it's not it's just not there I mean <laughs> yeah somebody must have taken somewhere ah, okay uh, somewhere where I mean is this legal yeah it's perfectly fine it's within the rules are you sure yeah sure sure it's perfectly fine and, and it's perfectly within the rules and, I, and we are telling, and, and then I ask Anarcho because I didn't trust the, re, the reply of Norman. So Anarcho, somebody kidnapped the stable master. Is this okay for you? Yeah, sure. Why it's not okay? Um, because it's silly. <laughs> so I don't know. It's perfectly fine to kidnap stable masters if the rules allow it. Then it should be allowed. Okay. And then basically, it was me, Morph, Arsen. New hate and uh, Roser. Uh, we we kidnapped every other stable master in Sosaria. We kidnapped them all and we we placed them in some ships in some unreachable place. <laughs> and and basically they started complaining about everything. <clears throat> and they started complaining about everything. And basically. <laughs> After a while, after we did it, of course, it was not legal anymore. How do you do this? Probably like this. Yeah, after we did it, not legal anymore. So that's um, that's what happens. Yeah, I thought they blocked him. No, not this guy. So that's the Stable Master War. It's one of the finest pieces uh, of content in USA history. So because when you kidnap one, it's fine, it's funny. But when you say it's legal and you kidnap them all, well, you understand that it's not fun no more. 
It's basically like the line of sight bug. I believe the line of sight bug is the bug that basically you are allowed to target underneath uh, the basement of the houses. And by targeting underneath the basement of the houses with area damage spell, you basically could kill anybody, anywhere, in any single tile. And I believe that somebody did this to, to TG, Vinti, Rex and Co. And, uh, well, after somebody did it to, to Vinti, Rex and Co. And they complained something like, hey, is this legal? I mean, they targeted me, targeted me in this way that shouldn't be error, shouldn't be legal because it's done with Razor. It wasn't able, you weren't able to do it without Razor, Razor being not legal. You shouldn't be able to do it also on USA. That's what they were saying. But then the GMs at the time said, oh, it's perfectly fine. Okay, it's perfectly fine. So TG proceeded on scouting the whole map and basically killed every single player in every single house for, for a few days, maybe for a few weeks, until the rules were changed, of course. So yeah, you gotta be... You gotta be careful when you when you reply to these things, I guess. Because when you do one thing, you gotta evaluate the consequences. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> you gotta you gotta pay the consequences. You gotta think about the consequences. I am. Um, for instance, I am a chess player, and I every time I I, I make a I take a decision, I try to try try to evaluate all the possible outcomes. If I do this, this can happen. This can happen. This can happen. If I do that, this can happen. This can happen. And so you do the the whole branch of tree, the, the three branches of the possible outcomes of your. Of your of your action, but if you kidnap a stable master, say, oh, oh, oh I stole them the white worms. I mean, you have to calculate that maybe <clears throat> they are gonna kidnap them all. Or, or, or if you killed one guy, maybe in, a member of TG, exploiting the line of sight bug in this era, yeah, probably is not going to end up well. So yeah. Um. Where's the fucking NPC gone here? So we've done 8k so far in one hour. Um, it's it's a good pace. Good pace. Here comes the thieves. It's a good pace. I hate when the bankers don't don't bank the, the bank for you. I still had gold with me, so it's 10k. It's 10k actually. 10k. So the pace is is not even not not only the pace is not bad. The pace is good. One hour into the stream, 10k. 
Uh, this I couldn't sell before. Okay, now I can. Okay. Yeah, they... that's fine. Um, let's take a look here. This place. Still in Mandrakes, probably. Take a look at them still in Mandrakes. Mount is fatigued, no. Yeah, the mandrakes are going now. One can always try. Never understood how thiefing works in this era. I really did never understand. Really? Um, let me focus a bit. I really have no idea of how stealing works in this era. Literally no idea. Okay, let's go here. My friend in BJV used to live here. Very funny. The only PK living in Garzen. He actually had the room marked inside Garzen. Very funny. Very funny. This is sad Saturday, Saturday afternoon for these guys. Can you believe that? What? When your kids are gonna ask you, but Dad, what did you do your Sunday afternoon? I mean, your reply is, I don't know. Sounds interesting. Sounds like fun. Let's go, let's run around. Very. What? 
what is this? Oh, interesting. Interesting. Boy, the orc fort, the real orc, the real orc guild. 60k stash here, ready to be taken. Unfortunately, not. Mandrakes. <coughs> Mandrakes Air Elemental Let's go A ship here This is nice. We have an ogre here. How interesting. I need to think about something here. Let's train a bit. Training session. This is actually an interesting way of training provocation, to be honest. This is what people do. It just provokes... I mean, I've seen a lot of people provoking an animal onto another animal for some reason. But to actually train provocation, you, you provoke an animal onto yourself. Or anything without range attacks onto yourself, not onto something else. Doesn't make any sense, to be honest. And provocation is one of the slowest skill to raise. If you want to get good to go here in a few days, you really start with 50 measure and 50 provocation. Because I, I trained provocation on one of my, of my characters and it took me like forever to train it. It literally took me forever to train it from 25 to, to 15. So yeah, you really... You really... Yeah. You really take your time training it. Yeah, rising back. Rising back 
strength. I, I I totally forgot about rising back strength. Yeah, about time that you started the earthquake. Really? It took you so long. Okay, tell me, yay! Where's hiding? Oh. Where is hiding? Good course. Now I got a seesaw here. <clears throat> okay, let me check. I totally forgot I didn't have 100 strength. Okay, 191 strength and 34 dex. Now let's... Let me check this method. They told me Okay, what skill raises strength here? I have no idea. Probably yeah, herding. I have no idea. Mining, yeah, mining doesn't work. Uh, combat probably. I don't know. Tactics. Begging. Camping, yeah. I don't know. Description. Yeah, I need to see so these skills eventually. I really need to see. I still have cooking here. Really? Ah, no, boy. So a huge modifier with cooking here. I don't even remember what skills I have here on Sunday. Thirty anatomy. Yeah, probably because of healing. Yeah, let's let's start and let's train anatomy a bit. Can you anatomy on yourself? I cannot remember. You already know quite a bit about yourself. Uh, you can train anatomy on. You can train anatomy on the horse, but only if you can last target it. I don't know, I can't even remember the skills I have here. Taming, bowcraft. Bowcraft is interesting. It took you four days to GM provocation. No, oh, yeah. yeah. This is the bug. This is a very, very cool bug. I don't know why. Sometimes, sometimes when you retain something inside the house, well, this is what happens. You got a duplicate of it. Now, if I dismount, if I dismount, the this duplicate disappears. You can do it with nightmares. Sometimes it happens with nightmares. When I friend a nightmare to one of my characters, and sometimes I I, I find a duplicate of it, which is crazy to be honest but in this case it allows us to do this wow no provocation of course but still yeah anatomy helps me with the uh, with healing for sure I'm not sure if anatomy also helps with veterinary. Sometimes I use veterinary on nightmare. I have no I have no idea. I, I don't think so. Probably animal lore helps veterinary. I really don't know. This is one other thing we could do. Flame strike. Okay. 
Yeah, we gained 4 tenths in mage read, which is frankly a lot. From zero, well, I, I, I hope you bought it at least uh, the first 25 points. <laughs> Tell me you bought the first 25 points. <laughs> And it takes forever, even when you use the, the the if condition, if fail, wait five seconds. It takes forever, even like that. If fail, <coughs> pause five seconds, whereas uh, if succeed, uh, pause ten seconds. Because especially at the beginning, you fail a lot, but, but still, still, there's no way. Still, took me forever to GM it. Literally, took me forever to GM it. It's literally really incredible, to be honest. And now I have two two bards. One that is the bard I scout with, and it is quite a silly template, but it's a very pure bard. So majory, meditation, peace. Uh, I, I have, yeah, major Meditation, then I have Music, Provo, Peace, Entice, and Tracking. That's the bar I use to track, to, to scout, basically, that's my scout. And I have 80 Meditation to have 20 Forensic Eval. So in case I find corpses, I, I can Forensic Eval the corpses to see who was farming them. And if I see a chest in a dungeon that's being picked, but the chest still there, I know who picked it. I can tell who picked it. And yeah. And, and then I made another bard. I, I have a bard tamer. That's a character I always wanted to have bard tamer for, for events. I, I had a tame I have a tamer. I have more than one tamer. I have three actually. Um, but it was just a mage tamer. And I wanted to try a bard tamer for absolute mob control so when you're at any event you have a lot of various mobs you start provoking the mob one onto the, one onto the other and then you use your your dragons to to finish them off that's interesting And I I tried to use it a bit at the Shadow Lord invasion of of Scala, but the spawn there was not that heavy. Probably it's best use that events like Cranky Town, or maybe also the Corn Maze at um, at at Cove. Probably that. But still, it's got potential. There's no many tamer bards around. But it's it it's the best thing. It's the best template, I guess, for mob control. But anatomy is very fast at rising because anatomy. I don't know for some reason it's on six seconds timer instead of the ten second timer of the other skills. Don't know why. I really don't know why. Yeah, let's let's do a few more games here and see what else we can do here. We've done like 10k so far. And I still have these to sell. This is also 500 gold pieces more. There's an air elemental there. I don't know. Plus people still around, yeah, drag the air elemental away before we get killed. Oh man. Yeah, again, a, a, a whole point here in anatomy, and a, and a few tenth of a few tenth of wrestling. Not that bad. 
Not that bad at all. I can anticipate you guys that Sally won't be around for a full week. That's a problem. Because I will be away. So there's gonna be no Sally on Wednesday and no Sally on next Saturday. We will resume in 10 days. I mean, I, I, I almost feel for you guys. Not the true lovers of Sally, like like Briggs or like Milton, like yeah, like you guys. But for 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 the social pass. I mean I really feel for you guys. Imagine when Sally will be no more. Why? And Sally soon will be no more. Eventually the castle need will be reached. And who knows the next challenge? I don't know. I don't know. Really, I don't know. No spells is interesting. No spells is, is always interesting. Uh, to GM taming, yeah. Well, it depends. Well, let's assume you start from 50. <coughs> let's assume you start from 50. Uh, you gotta start taming uh, scorpions and giant spiders at compassion and that's gonna be pretty fast and also snakes once you reach 60 it's gonna be pretty fast once you reach 65 you're gonna go to the Y walls and again you probably can just place a boat anywhere or, or, or place a patio if you have the cash place place a boat or a patio anywhere at Iceland and have a guy drag you white walls to tame while you're on a tame loop to, to target uh, to target the white wolves and then again it, it won't be long maybe a few hours till you reach 71 until you can get to bulls in the Lucia and the Lucia you do bulls inside the Lucia because as soon as you tame a bull inside the Lucia another bull will respawn so that's that's how you do it and it won't take long again to bulls to get to the 77 maybe you can get to 77 in one day this cannot this can be done semi semi afk maybe in one day you get to 77 Seven, that 77 is um, 77 to 85 is um, is a bit of a problem i'm gonna tell you it's a bit of a problem because 77 you need to, st to tame giant thoughts and giant thoughts you only find them a hopper's bog and you of course you find many a hopper's bog you find a, some of them also around uh, around the lost lands is on the southern part of the lost lands but again there's not many and, and you have to walk a lot to find them or you can abuse the ledges but at 77 78 79 it's still it's still okay because it takes several minutes to tame one but once you start to get around 8-ish, well, you tame that way too fast. And so that's that's where you start to, you know, you want to start to integrate a little bit with imps, for instance, or a giant lizards that you can find maybe at Fire Dungeon. Until you reach, I mean, if you, if you really focus on this, you can do it in in a couple of days. And once you reach 85, once you reach 85, you can go straight to Hellhounds and GM at Hellhounds. And it takes a few days, probably two, three days to tame it. That's finally, Dikov, that's finally an interesting question. I got banned. That's, that's what was going on on Lost Lands. When I... Wait... We were a bit bored of second age, so we were saying, "What's going on? Wait a sec." 
or nothing. So we were a bit bored of second age and we tried Lost Lands. So we tried to start BJV at the Lost Lands. It was me, Morph, and at the time it was me, Morph, and another BJV guy that came from, from, from here. And we started BJV there. And there we met the local PK Guild that was called... Oh boy. Yeah, 408. Yeah, okay, 408. The GM was uh, Zilla, and then they have um, Zubuko, then they had Cannabis, then they had Art. Well, that, that, that crew. And so we started to tell them, let's make an alliance. You help us on Second Age, we help you on Lost Lands. I say, okay, good. So we started to, we, we mentioned them about the tracking, the tracking that we use on Second Age. And we could technically implement the same tracking system on Lost Lands. And so that's what we did. We started tracking on Lost Lands. And, in, and the GMs were kind of okay about that. But people started to complain, of course. Because there is the, originally the rules regarding tracking were different. On, for instance, on Second Age, you were allowed to track AFK and you were not, not allowed to track from an unreachable position. So let's imagine you place a boat and you place the boat blockade around you to make your track, in a, track around reachable. That was not allowed on Second Age. So Second Age made sure that you could actually, you, your tracker could be killed. We asked the same question on Lost Lands and they say, oh, you place your tracker wherever you want. Okay. So some of our trackers were actually in unreachable position. And consider the fact that on Lost Land there is no no server reset, the trackers were going on permanently. And so after a while they start to change in the rules. Saying uh, for instance they some areas you had tracking disabled, completely disabled. And by disabled you mean you know when you go to for instance to events like I don't know uh, not not last uh, survival events, survival events <laughs> That, for instance, you cannot peacemake a survival events, or if you go to some other events, I think you cannot steal, uh, uh, you cannot use some other skills. Well, it's uh, well, you, you were forced. Uh, it was some special, some, some special rules that inhibit tracking. That was one thing they did, and then another thing that they did. They prevented tracking across server lines or across server areas. For instance, if you go to the to, for instance, to uh, yeah, blood elementals, you can track all the way, for instance, to to the white worm and vice versa. Or if you are at ice entrance, ice dungeon entrance, uh, the two wayside, you can track all the way to the hellhounds, for instance, or also to the barons. They 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 inhibited that, and then. So I, I went to the Discord and asked, why are you doing all this tracking? Because there's no other way to counter it, they, they told me. And I told them, on second age, they make me put, they make me put tracking on trackers on reachable, reachable positions so that they can be killed. And so they told me, but even if you kill them, you will arrest them and it will be endlessly, there's no way to counter it. And I replied to the GM, I can tell you, I mean, I can, but I'm not telling you, at least 10 ways to counter our tracking network. So if you stop and actually think about things, I can tell you at least 10 ways of countering it. And the GM told me, I don't believe you. you say, and I told him, okay, change the rules, I will find something else. And he banned me. The true story, Grofus can confirm. And the GM that banned me is GM Zell. And he banned me from Discord and he banned me from all the three accounts on Lost Lands because of this sentence. Saying, you're gonna change the tracking rules, I'm gonna find something else. And I also uh, wrote within the rules, of course. 
So that's the long story short. Sorry it took me so long. I know you already went to watch something else like some Mariah Carey video. But that's the story of me being banned on Lost Land and say, okay, fine. I'm not gonna touch that shard anymore. Grofus petitioned um, a lot of times to have me removed from the ban list. Because after BJV left uh, Lost Lands, well, basically also all, all the um, Zilla Guild, the Four Way Guild, just transferred to uh, sorry, I forgot what I was saying because I was reading. So all the Four Way guys migrated to to Second Age, and we continued the. Uh, BJV four weight alliance here in second age. I you didn't know the story. You did know that. I mean, I I I, I don't even know that you played Lost Lands. To be honest, did you play Lost Lands, Dika? But I, what I didn't like about Lost Lands is that in the, I believe that in the six months that I've been there, they changed the rules like three or four times, which is honestly, frankly ridiculous coming from Second Age where probably they changed, the, the rules changed three, four times over the past 10 years. The, I believe they changed the rules to, to once, like the cooldown, the change rule tracking, and the change rule to Something else, I can't remember. I can't, ah, yeah, <laughs> reflect jewelry. <laughs> yeah, eventually they told me that Zell was very, very dodgy. He was not senior GM, he was just a regular GM. But yeah, um, but now I think Lostland is just, there's no nothing else. No, no, nothing going on on Lost Lands, it's just the Trammel Fest with gold spawned in guards on <laughs> from town invasions permanently going on and the Pixel Fest probably but yeah, I don't want to play in a shard like that I mean, it's clearly it's clear that we are not want, we were not wanted on that shard but if you want to, if you change the rules and ban people that for no reason, I mean let me let me infringe the rules. Let me scrape. Let me use third-party programs, and you caught and you and, and I get caught doing that, and you ban me. I'm fine. Okay, I I I broke the rules, and you ban me. Fine, but I did nothing. I just stole them. I mean, you fix this. I'm gonna I'm gonna find another method. Don't worry. As a ban. <laughs> okay, for what? <laughs> yeah, that's. I, I don't want to play on a shot like that. I mean, we are not wanted even on second age. It's no mystery that BJB is not wanted even on second age. But at least there is some integrity here. I mean, uh, the GMs are not going to change the rules for us, as they are not going to change the rules for anybody else. I mean, you can cry all, all, all you want. I, I was really surprised that tracking, AFK tracking rule was modified due to us. I was really, I was really surprised about that, but I think Anarcha was just fed up with the 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 complaints. I say, but when when AFK tracking was uh, was deemed illegal, that was basically the end of the tracking network because yeah, you can put up a ghost network for sure. You can put up a ghost network sometimes. I'm not denying that sometimes I ghost, but very rarely I ghost. The very hot spots like lead shorts, like elder gazers, well, that's it. Track ghosting is one thing, and, and you see visible characters. Tracking is a whole other story. I, I was surprised. I was surprised because nothing was ever done to counter it properly. But still, this is what it is, I guess. Susan is still there. 
Susan is one of you guys, I, I, I bet. Are you I mean, you can you can keep telling this. I mean, telling it like 100, 100 times every stream is not gonna make it true. You can tell it how many times you want, it doesn't make it true. We're gonna take a look here at the most interesting locations that nobody goes to. Oh, Susan finally recalled. Yes, yeah, still the key. Still the key. Let's take a look at the most interesting location now that nobody knows. The most interesting location that nobody knows are here. Um, here, the second bank of Trinsic. I only learned recently that we have a second bank in Trinsic. And what more? Where's the tailor? Where's the tailor intrinsic? Here I think that there is some spawn. Probably inside here. Inside that strong box, I believe. You have a spawn of Wow, that's like oh, no, the, the the ingots probably. Probably the ingots. I I I can't remember. Probably the ingots. What is this? Brotherhood of Trinsic. Tuesday. You after Wednesday of the Adams family and Friday of Robinson Crusoe. We also have Tuesday here. We also have Tuesday on Ultima Online. Yeah, looking forward to meet also Thursday and Saturday. Where is the tailor here? Come on, help me. I think I found that before. Where the heck is the fucking tailor here? Fucking have no idea. Oh, probably on the other side here. But there's some cities that I literally know by heart. I believe that in 2070, if I fucking log in in Britain or at Scara, I still can go anywhere, even blindfolded. But these cities, I really have no idea. Some cities, I really have no idea. I don't even know if there's a fucking... I'm gonna cheat and check on UIM, I guess. Let me check UIM. Oh, I was close. Shit, I was close. Uh, I was close. There it is, I was close. I don't know, Mojo. I'm hurting sociopaths here, so give me a break. All right. Mojo Mojo, Mojo Jojo. <laughs> I, I never read you. 
This is the first time that you're typing. And by the bank, and you mean this bank, I believe. This bank, I, I know that by this bank you have two provisioners and one jeweler because every time I sell jewels I get I get here. By the bank. No, what is this place? Place is Councillor Guild. Councillor Guild. These places were really used back in the day of Ozin. Trinsic was always your favorite city, really. What do you particularly like of Trinsic, man? What do you particularly like of Trinsic, man? No, no more items. These are the, the ship keys. Okay, the look. You'd, yeah, the look is similar to also, for instance, probably Nuyan. Can it also be similar to Nuyan? But yeah, I know. I I don't know. It's too it's too vague. The layout isn't the best, I mean, this is to say the least, man. very nice I I agree with you Munglo is a very fine city very very fine city my favorite city probably is Scaram Let's go here. Let's see what do we find here at the Lucian. If we can shoot a few ship here. Yeah, see? Somebody heard that for us. Heard that then for us. Wow, this is ship frenzy. Come on. Gotta catch them all. So Mojo, is this the first time that you're watching my channel, man? Or maybe you watch some other of my videos and you finally caught me live. I don't know who did this for... I don't know if they did it for me, for Sully, for Blade Spirit, for BJV, for Words Hunger. But this is something. This is something I appreciate a lot. And in Moglo they also placed a, a stable in Renaissance era. So I, I was hanging out at Moglo in Renaissance era when they added the stable. I was I, I was I was hanging around at Skaran at first, and then I moved to Moglo when they they, they put the stable at Moglo. Fucking double click here. Oh, thank you for watching my videos all the time. I hope you like them. What the heck is going on here? You play Outlands. Did you used to play Second Age back in the day? 
What the heck? Did you play Second Age back in the day, man? I mean, this era, or maybe you're the new generation of UO player. You started in 1998, so that's that's a yes. <laughs> that's definitely a yes. So do you prefer Outlands to this? Why do you prefer Outlands to this? Have you ever played Second Age? This is crazy. Sometimes in Delusia there's crazy things happening. The craziest thing happen in Delusia sometimes. Tail Bushido, yeah. More or less also also me. I played until I played until probably Monday in Legacy. I can't remember to be honest. Probably Monday in Legacy. Yeah, but the game is um, stop stop being interesting basically. Probably, but the, the, the early age of Shadow was very nice. Early age of Shadow was really nice, to be honest, in my opinion. Then it went banana, probably. Then it probably went just banana, went crazy. Yeah, the best asset of Outland is the population, I guess. But I don't know. I It's really not for me, Outlands. It really, really not for me, Outlands. I mean, it's too custom. I, I prefer the original. But that's me. I... I, in general, prefer the original of, of everything. Yeah, the Gargoyles... Gargoyles was Mundane Legacy? What was, wasn't that? And the population here is around 100, basically. 90% of which are good, good people actually hooks willing to help you. If you, if you come here, you, you really have a lot of people willing to help you. We are very friendly towards new players. But of course the, the, the rule set is what it is. The rule set is what it is. And you know what I mean. But the rule set is what it is. You know the era, I mean, if you play you all in that era, I mean, you know what to expect, I guess. There's 12k made tonight. 12k made tonight. Which is, which is not bad, considering the amount of grief we, we have to sustain. Where is this room to? Yeah. Population here is around 100. 100 users online, yeah. Which isn't, 
which is which isn't bad at all considering the very fixed rules that we have here and <coughs> and the fact that the shard is very 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 old so I guess we, we are all right this is a very alright server. The server is very active because we have um, active GM here. We have an active GM here. We have events going on. I mean, if you if you watch my channel, you obviously do watch my channel. You see, there's a lot of things going on. If you want to to come here to the second age, what I can tell you is that don't come here solo There's just join our discord seek for help because the first mistake players make that new players make when they come here is thinking is 98 or 99 this is nowhere near what was in 1999 you have for instance on this chart you have 16 years of accumulated knowledge under the very same rule set so, people have mastered every single aspect of the game. I, I believe the Second Age era was around for maybe one and a half year. Here the Second Age era has been around for, for 16 years, so people have had time to master everything about it. Yeah, it finally did steal the room, come on, let's check, I don't know, no idea. People have mastered really everything. So don't come here and say, oh, I played in 98, I know everything about this. No, you don't know, no, you, you know nothing about this. You know nothing about this, if you played in, the ni in 98. So come here and be willing to play, be willing to... Be willing to... What's that called? To, to, to learn from, from other players. Be willing to learn from other players. Absolutely be willing to learn to other play willing to learn to other players. And uh, yeah, be humble and yeah, remember it's not 98. Remember it's a completely new era. And the rules are of course the same, but surely it's different. Surely it's different. If you come here and accept accept help from other players, be part of a group, and remember that people can do you everything, really everything. Of course, it's no mystery that I run a PK guild here. The most hated PK guild, probably, of all times, yes, go BJV. But we are very welcoming towards new players. We always rest them, we almost never loot them, just take a few gold, get a rest and off you go with a cooldown of one day where we don't PK you again. But of course, there's some other people that can kill you in town, that can kill you inside your house, they can loot your house, so yeah, they can scam you, they can troll you, they can do whatever they want, basically. But yeah, very welcoming community, I really encourage you to give it a try. Uh, unlike Outlands, you, you will not find the population of Outlands, but, but sure you will get the feeling that you had back in the day for sure you, you will get that feeling if you took a look at, at my some of my videos well the rules that are basically the same because you know how the shard is done the shard is based on uh, a, a demo uh, on an Aussie demo from 98 somewhere in 98 Let's say you have we, we have this demo, uh, don't, don't ask why, don't ask how, don't ask nothing. But we have this demo, and this demo is Aussie, so it's the original. And starting from that demo that is somewhere in 98, plus patch notes, 
to update it till November 99. That is the cutoff of this shard. This shard is staged with rule set of November 1999. So that's pretty accurate. Pretty accurate. The, the most accurate um, reconstruction of Second Age era. I'm waiting, I'm waiting for you here. Just give it a try. I, I don't hide the fact that we have a lot of players joining recently and also not recently in the past, but they come here for, uh, you know, for the nostalgia. Maybe some, sometimes they fix nostalgia in one day, sometimes they fix, they fix nostalgia in one week, sometimes in one month, sometimes they stay here forever. There's people, yeah, some people, very few people, maybe 1% of them stay here forever. Demo came with the T2A CD, really? Ah, I didn't know that. I, I, I have the T2A CD, but how do you... Yeah, well, this is some technology problem that I have no idea. But I still have the second age box yeah, in, my, in, my, in my bedroom. <laughs> still have the second age box, sometimes I have to show it. Yeah, I don't like that, that it's become too professional. That's why I honestly enjoy playing Selby. Uh, because it feels more real, like, okay, I have 85-ish majory, I fizzle gate, I fizzle sometimes also fucking level 6. Uh, and I don't have GM provocation, so I can fail to provoke and it's gonna be a mess. Uh, I can fail to heal, I can fail to hide, yeah, it definitely feels more real than than a 7GM's character. Yeah, sometimes people... On the disk is the demo installer. Yeah, it doesn't work in Windows 10, I'm no surprise. <laughs> I have to check with that, I have to ask Anarcho about that. Yeah, I have the map frame too. Yeah, the cloth map. I still have it framed somewhere. I used to have it. Yes, I think it's in my in my bedroom somewhere. Yeah, yeah. That, that was awesome. Uh, that was one thing that I always liked about the Ultima games. Even when I bought Ultima, well, I bought my dad. My dad bought Ultima Six or Ultima Seven. Uh, you have the box, you had the box, and you had the map inside, the cloth map inside, and you had the orb of the moon, and you had some runes, and you had something else. Probably something like a token, uh, like a medallion of the avatar of the virtues. Yeah, I can't remember. And I very and I liked it when in some older Ultima games, when you beat the game at the end, it would say if you beat the game, you just just, uh, just send a letter to Origin and our British will reply you with a congratulation or something. <laughs> a beginning. Oh, I have on a virtual machine, virtual machine. I have to check that. If it's on a CD, the, the hardest part for me now is finding a. I play on a laptop and I don't have the CD. <laughs> I, don't, I wouldn't know where to put it. <laughs> yeah, but I, I, would, I will take a look at that. And speaking of which, I have in the to do list in my YouTube channels to show them um, Ultima Online Pre Alpha. I don't know if you guys follow Reddit. I don't know if you follow Reddit. Uh, on Reddit, a guy a few months ago, probably five, six months ago, posted uh, posted the files to install the Ultima Line Pre Alpha. So that was crazy, crazy stuff to watch. Of course, it's you can do basically nothing. You just walk around what is supposed to be Britain, you have no bank, you got no NPCs, you basically almost have also no skill, you can do nothing, you can not do actions, just, you can just walk around. But I wanna, uh, I wanna, that I managed to make it work and I wanna show you guys eventually that. Ah, okay, that's how you got emulation code. Yeah. 
Ah, okay. Yeah, I don't. I really don't know the whole story, to be honest. But I will investigate eventually. So, guys, it's 1 a.m. for me here. It's been two hours. It's it's, it's okay. We will resume selling in 10 days because this Wednesday no, this Saturday in 7 days no, so it's gonna be selling on uh, when is the next Wednesday, next, next, next Wednesday, come on open the fucking calendar, yeah, Wednesday, April the 3rd, Wednesday, April the 3rd is gonna be selling, so such a pass, take note, Pen and paper, take note, sociopaths. I say, say goodbye for now, stay tuned with more rock and roll on Ultima Line Second Age and come play Second Age. And if you do, join Discord and seek for help. Otherwise, it's gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough and probably almost no fun. Okay, thanks everybody for watching, almost including sociopaths. And. See you soon. Let's go and long live second age. Bye everybody. And let's terminate. Yeah, as always. Terminate. <laughs>